Hi guys, my name is Jackie, or as some of you guys may know me as Jackie Cakes on Twitter. Um, so today this video is going to be about a Fashion Nova haul. I spent about 300 US dollars on a Fashion Nova haul. It kind of started out as, you know, wanting to just buy a dress for this wedding I'm going to. And then it kind of turned into me browsing the sale rack while I was in class to adding about like... 10 plus things to my cart. <laughs> so I've never personally shopped at Fashion Nova. Um, I bought a wedding dress two weeks prior from Fashion Nova. Okay, I lied. Oops. Um, the measurements said that I would be about a 1X. Uh, I am plus size, as most of you would know. This is a plus size Fashion Nova haul. They do come in, you know, regular size, <laughs> smaller sizes. And it does come in a size larger because I've ordered from 1X to 2X. It goes up to 3X to extra small. I ordered a fashion, or I ordered a dress, boop. And when I tried it on and it arrived, it didn't fit. It felt like I was a sausage in the dress. And it was really sad to see because online it said that the measurements would fit me perfectly. And I wasn't really expecting like this very tight, snug dress. It did fit me. I could wear it. But it was too tight for comfort and too tight for a wedding. I know it is a tight dress, but it was too tight for comfort, like I said. So I've reordered the dress, and along with reordering the dress, I actually officially ordered things from Fashion Nova. I've heard about Fashion Nova online for a while now. One of my favorite plus size models, models for Fashion Nova and Forever 21. I've heard fantastic things about their jeans and their clothes and how everyone really just loves it. So I was like, well, you know what? I should give it a try. <laughs> Don't mind my face mask. Uh, I got out of the shower and I got stress acne from school and I need to do a clay mask. <laughs> if you wanna know what clay mask, I can give you the name later. Um, but, so I ordered a lot of things ranging from a dress, a jean jacket, some skirts, uh, a lot of sets, some pants, nothing jeans, um, nothing like tights, just a couple like sweat stuff, um, tube tops, those kind of things. So like I said, I've never really ordered anything from Fashion Nova other than a dress that didn't fit and I've reordered the dress and I'm going to try it on too. Um, I don't really have an opinion about Fashion Nova yet um, because I really did like the style of dress that I got but like I said it was the wrong size. Things that I've heard about Fashion Nova and I've now experienced for myself through ordering the one dress would have to be that um, you don't get a full refund like with your own money, sorry is what I mean. You don't get a refund of your money back to you, it's in store credit. So I can't get any of this back to me if I don't like any of it. I will have to keep reordering through Fashion Nova until I find something that is my money's worth as well as every time you want to return something Fashion Nova doesn't cover the cost. So that seems a little bit fishy to me is that Fashion Nova doesn't cover the cost of your returns. I can't imagine it's expensive to send it out. It wasn't expensive to buy it but like as someone that had to sit and wait for this package and it kind of sucks that, you know, I have to wrap it back up and pay for the shipping back to California from Toronto. So, here is all the clothes that I ordered. All of this. <sighs> yeah, it's a lot. Uh, I'm going to be trying them on, all of them. And you give me my honest opinion if I like it, if I don't like it, if it fits, if it doesn't fit. I'm really hoping that it fits because this is a lot of money worth of Fashion Nova. Um, and it really sucks as a plus size person to find something that you feel sexy and definitely a reason why I went with Fashion Nova was because Forever 21 for me in a lot of stores in the mall, I find there isn't anything sexy for me to wear as a plus size person and I feel sexy and I feel confident and I want to wear clothes that can embrace that confidence that I have in myself and I want my clothes to make me feel even more confident about myself. Um, Forever 21, whenever I go into store, I struggle personally about 
finding something that makes me feel good and makes me look good. Fashion Nova has a lot of plus size models that I can see and just enjoy the look of it and relate my body shape to theirs. It just, Forever 21 has it too, but like, here you get this cute shirt and it's like, I drank coffee on it or I don't know, either way. So like I said, all these clothes, uh, I'm going to go through and try them on. I'll tell you the names of the sets and yeah, let's get right to it. So this is the Mila, the Mila set. So honest to God, when I was buying this, I thought it was a skirt, <laughs> not a pair of shorts. <laughs> so it's a pair of shorts I wasn't really wanting. I really thought it was a skirt. I don't have a bra on, so I'm not gonna lift it up higher. This is a 2X, and this is really big for me, for my body. I was not really expecting, you know, um, this. I could fit like another one of me in here. I think it's something that could be um, a comfortable set. Let me move the camera. So, it's definitely something that could be comfy. I wouldn't really, I don't know if I would wear it out for say. Maybe I'd wear it out. It just like, doesn't really show my body. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's comfy though. The fabric is really, um, really thin. It's very thin. <laughs> uh, these are fucking long. I could save a life with it. Um, there's a hoodie on it. So I could, honestly, I would probably wear the top with leggings or something like that, running shoes. Um, because the top is big and it can give you that like big sweater look. I do, what I do like about this sweater is I find with a lot of crop sweaters in plus size is that it comes up or it's too tight and it's like right under my under boobs or it's pressing on my rolls right there and it's just not big enough for me. So I do like that this is a crop sweater, it's comfortable. I could probably wear it in the summer because it's really not that thick. There's straps on my hips. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like I could wear this in the summer and in the fall. I could wear it with a pair of leggings. But I would definitely next time go for a 1X. Even the pants, I could definitely go for um, a 1X, which I really wish I did because it's really cute. I like it, I'm okay with it. Definitely like around the house thing, you know, you got a dick appointment, like if it was a little formal fitting, you could be a little bit more sexy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but right now I'm not owning it. <laughs> I look like a box. So this was the Mila Athleisure set. Ath, 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 uh, set. But yeah, it's really, <laughs> I can do activities with it though. Okay, good. So, the top, I think I have my pants on backwards. I'm not gonna fucking lie to you. So, problem one with the top was when I saw it was that I thought it was going to be, you know, I really think my pants are on backwards. Bitch, do my ass look fat? <laughs> Is that I thought the material was gonna be a lot more stretchier. It is literally the material of a fucking bandana. It is, it literally feels like they took a bandana, the material, and they just made this outfit. Which could be good in the sense that these pants are on backwards. There's no tag. They just, I just thought it should be the front. <laughs> Either way. So it's not stretchy. There's a zipper on the back that I had to zip up frontwards, switch around, and then pull my tits up. And it doesn't really, it's not bad. I'll wear it. But it's definitely gonna be something that it's going to keep falling down all day. I will definitely have to be pulling it up constantly. My boobs aren't big enough. Maybe if it was a size smaller, but around it fits comfortably. My boobs aren't big enough. Damn it, boobs. Now for, oh my God. Get in there, bitch. It's not your time to shine. So 
So, as for the pants that I have on fucking backwards, they're really thin too, which, you know, maybe I should put them on forwards, but, hey, hey, hey. Um, it's cute. <laughs> it's not that uncomfortable, other than that I have my pants on backwards. Clearly, you can tell. But, I'm not that disappointed. There's no pockets. In the photo, I think that it was definitely a lot more baggier. Like it was crunkled up kind of thing. These are tight on me like leggings. Not bad. They don't go all the way to the ankle though. So they're kind of like, I don't know what to wear shoe wise with it. Uh, you could pull some high tops with it. I have a pair of Converse that might look okay with it. Um, it's wearable. I'll do it. Just because I don't want the hassle of returning it. We'll see what it looks like when I don't have my pants on backwards. But I'm kind of okay with it right now. You know, pull the hips up. Show a little belly. That's it. Right there. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Let's go. First off. Yes, I don't have a black skirt. <laughs> so, like I said, I'm not wearing a bra with any of these. This, once again, I like this. I thought the strap, like basic black, and the strap was cute. Once again, I think it was seriously one size smaller. The top is really big for me. Um, the skirt fits. The thing about the skirt is that it's super stretchy and I definitely could have fit into a 1X. This is a 2X. The buckles, I'm really confused about. Like, I need to tighten them. But what I don't get, I guess if I, like, let go and they hang, it's supposed to say toxic all the way down. So it is called the toxic set because it does say toxic. It says toxic here, it says toxic everywhere. It's cute, I like it. I can wear just the shirt with a pair of leggings. I can wear the skirt with any color tube top I want. I can, you know, they do buckle. They are, they are real life buckles. They ain't no fakes. It says toxic on the inside of the back, back buckle. And I didn't realize that there was like a slit up here. I don't know if that's supposed to be for my cleavage, but this is it. This is something I might return and get in a smaller size because I really do like this. Like this could be really sexy if it was a little more form fitting on me. Like I can make it look, you know, <laughs> just kidding. Um, I don't know, it's, I definitely like it. The material's very stretchy, like including the t-shirt. Um, I think I was shooting a little over the top when I was doing my sizes, just because I was scared of the last dress that I bought, which was in 1X and it didn't fit me. Maybe if I wash it and it shrinks, then hey, whatever. But a bitch is looking to lose weight, not gain weight. So I really don't wanna have to rebuy this because it's something I like. Um, but yeah, I like it. What do I look like? <gasps> oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> I look... <gasps> oh my god. Okay, so the tube top didn't come with it. The tube top is sold separately. But I did buy the tube top and I really like the tube top. I feel like I belong on Mamma Mia. Like I, be I feel like I'm part of Donna and the girls. So the point of it is to be a cropped sweater. It's supposed to be big arms. You're supposed to wear something under it or your titties will be flying. This is very see-through. You can see my cheetah print underwear through it. Like a lot. Like the whole way through. Like the whole way. It's comfy. This looks really fucking goofy on me. Like this is not a good shape for a plus size person. <laughs> As 
Especially <laughs> not me. Maybe because my boobs aren't big enough. But this whole like cut off here thing, like it literally goes right where the tube top starts. <sighs> I went with a black tube top because that's what I saw in the photo of it. I think from like up here, it could be cute. I think with my stomach, the pants aren't so cute. Um, the ends are tight. So they're kind of like sweatpants. Like I said, it's really, it's really see-through. You can see right through it. Like you're not hiding anything. Do not wear these on your period. Like, nope. There's no hiding my cheetah print underwear in there. It's cute. I just feel like I'm at church. Not like the style I'm at church. It felt like Fat Albert stretched out my fucking. It's cute. I really wish it was a full sweater, to be honest. I <laughs> like, it feels weird knowing that it's not even a crop sweater. It's like a tit sweater. It's cute, not my body size, not my body shape. But like I said, it's cute, it's cute. Something I might return, I don't know because the bottoms, I really don't know what the fuck I would wear these with. Like they're tight. Can I put my foot up? So they're, oh! <laughs> well bam. But uh, it's tight around the ankle. It's cute because it matches. But I don't know where I would wear this. I wouldn't wear this to school. Once again, something to stay at home with. But I didn't pay $25 for something to stay at home with. I can stay at home fucking naked. I don't need a pair of sweatpants. But you know, show my underwear. <sighs> like I said, top's cute. I think this is something I'll return. Definitely. It's a thicker material, very stretchy, comfortable. It's cute, I like it, but like I said, not my shape. Bottom's too see-through. The top is too hot. I can wear the top with maybe um, leggings or a pair of jeans, but I don't wear jeans. So, useless, but yeah. So same crop top, just some like joggers. So they have slits at the knees, stretchy material. These are a 2X and these fit me like basically perfectly. Um, I always gotta check out the butt. Um, tied around the ankle. I'm tall though, so it, they don't really reach my ankle when I do that. It's the same bandeau. I really like the bandos. I will definitely buy the bandeau again. I'll buy it another color. I bought it in a similar color camo as my pants. Not to match, but just, you know. Um, and they were out of stock, so they refunded me then. I like it. It's comfortable. It's pretty thick material. Uh, it's not like too thick though. You can kind of see. It's really just a stretchy material. Just a stretchy camo. But it looks kind of like a pair of joggers. And I like it. So, there's pockets. Lots of things you can do when you got pockets. I really didn't know it was a crop denim jacket. I didn't really want a crop denim, but apparently I don't read what I fucking buy. So, crop denim's not too bad, but I really didn't want a crop denim. Hello, unbuttoned. I ordered this in 3X because as a jacket, I didn't want it tight fitting. I wanted something that was loose, but we'll see how it fits. Oh, there's so many holes in it. Okay. Okay, so it's a little big on the arms. A little too long. I'm tall, but I don't have long arms. Uh, it's cute. It's shedding. But it's cute. It smells kind of... 
smells kind of weird. <laughs> smells weird. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a regular denim jacket, really. I've never really owned a denim jacket, and that's why I went about it. You can unbutton the cuffs, and I can roll them if I wanted to. I bought it because I like the rips in the side of it, and I like that style. But because it's so long on my arms, you can't really see like the rips when I scrunch it up. It's an oversized jacket. It's what I asked for, really. It's what I, kind of what I was paid for. I wanted to wear it with like a tube top and a skirt or a tube top and some leggings. Uh, I don't know if I could really wear it with this. I feel I could wear it with this. I just feel pretty extra. But I, oh my god! <laughs> this was so, ah, this was so hard to get into. It is what you think it is. I feel kind of sexy. It feels, looks good. I like it. It's fucking tight. So you gotta zip yourself in. How does the butt look, really? You gotta zip yourself in, first of all. And it stretches though. Thank God. Um, the inside material is not what the outside material is. Or let me tell you, you would be sweating and stuck in this thing. Um, but it's not a very thick material between the two different materials, is what I'm trying to say. So between this like pleather look is a very thin lining so that you're not like wearing pleather all over. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to adjust it. I'm trying to adjust my, getting into it was the hardest part. So I saw it and on the plus size model, I was in love. They think they were wearing a black tube top. It is orange. <laughs> when I bought it, I thought it was more of a peachy color, but it is very Halloween orange. It's cute. Uh, I had high hopes of, oh my God, it's really on me. Wearing it to a club or something, because I really like the colors. Um, I've never really worn a skirt to the club. Uh, it's sexy though. I feel, I feel sexy, I feel good. I definitely like with tube top. It, I'm already sweating. <laughs> I'm sweating because I'm trying on all these clothes, so I can just feel that this would lead to a really bad night. <laughs> I don't know. I like it. I'll probably keep it. One of those like, you know what, let's just, let's just wear it night. But, yeah, let's get out of it. Uh-oh. So, this skirt, oh my god. It actually snaps, motherfucker. <laughs> this you really gotta be careful in. So it fits, but what I'm really scared of is sitting down or bending over. Well, if I bend over, you're going to see my whole asshole. <sighs> but apparently these are real snaps. Um, it wasn't, I don't know how to explain what I was feeling. It seems a lot longer than you think it is. I thought it was gonna be shorter. It feels really long, but I know that if I bend over, my asshole will be showing. I don't know how I like the way it fits on me because I'm built like a linebacker. Oh my God, fuck. The buttons keep coming undone, first of all. It's cute, I thought I would like it. It looked cute. It's not bad. I really like the, the unbuttoned pants, so I just feel like it doesn't look good on me. I don't know why. It just really doesn't. It feels long. Maybe because I wear my pants really high. But now my underwear is showing. Why don't I have a super fat ass? And really skinny. Um, let's put on a jacket. Yeah, we love in this. We love in this. First thing I love about this, first of all, material thin, it's stretchy. Second, it is like a crop t-shirt. 
I love cropped t-shirts even though I'm plus size. I love having a midriff out. I don't care what size I am really, but I enjoy it. Second of all, my best friend has a, the ho. Um, I don't really care about the name ho. But uh, we feeling it. Feels good, braless. <laughs> So cute. It's a cheap shirt. It just, it's a really comfortable material. Ho! Oh, what it do? Feels good. Scarf feels weird. But I like the shirt. First things first. There is a stain on my fucking white material. It's a hard stain. It's a yellow stain. And it's at the front of my shirt. Right where the boob is. Let me show you. It was cute. And I like it. I like the tube top. Shorts. Not so much a fan of. I really do wear my pants really high. The pants are kind of just like spandex shorts. Something I'll probably wear in California. They just feel like a workout gear. Now for what I'm talking about is right here is a clear as day stain. You guys can't even see it. There it is. So it is literally this hard stain with a yellow outline on the white part. You can't see it so much looking at me, but the problem is I paid for the set and I didn't ask for a stain on my tit. So. A little pissed off. I really do like the, the top, even though there's like no support whatsoever. Your tits are pretty free roaming in it. But I do like it. I love tube tops. No idea why. I don't have perky, beautiful boobs. But I really do like tube tops. It's a matching set, obviously. The material's stretchy. The thing is though, when I was putting it on this band up here, every time, I don't know if anyone else has ever experienced this, but you're in the store and your, my boob just flopped down. You're in the store and you're trying on clothes and you're pulling the band and you can hear it like stretching and it's making that noise. So that's what it did when it put on these pants for the, the band and same with the top. So, I don't know. So excuse my muffin top. I don't know. cute. I like it. My best friend and I ordered the same one. There's just a stain on my tit. This I was really excited for because they're basically the pants that are supposed to make your ass look fat. You know the ones with the, I call them hippie pants. Whatever. I like the material. I like the material at the top. You know, everyone's boobs are bigger. It came knotted. I really didn't think it was going to, but it already came knotted. It's called Bamboo Babe Set. So I like the material of it. I like the way um, material fits on me. It feels like obviously a summer set. I bought these clothes to go to California. And I'm out of breath. I like it. I definitely like a shirt I don't have to wear a bra in because I hate to wear a fucking bra. It's, it's tight. I can wear my boobs in it. I like it. You know. Let me stand back far enough. Okay. Um, but you can- Oh! Bitch! <laughs> what it do? make your ass look fat pants I don't have the most beautiful shape in the world I really don't but it's comfortable it's cute I look good when I do this and that's what all this matters so <laughs> that's that I have the dress to try on and then that's it that's all of it so Woohoo! Out of everything that I've gone through, 
I don't want to keep that snap skirt and I don't want to keep that white set that I have to wear the tube top on. That's it so far. So that's not bad. Okay. So here it is. Kind of reminds me of a vampire dress. It's probably not as tight on the stomach as the last dress. It's tight. I'm sweaty. It was really hard to get on. <sighs> the only thing I don't like is how much it is at my stomach. Obviously I have a big stomach and something I didn't want was focus on my stomach and I wanted to wear a bra with it, but it was so damn hard to get on my upper extremities. <sighs> that was so hard to get on. Am I gonna be able to wear a bra with it? Probably not. My mom wants me to wear a bra with it, but there's no room in here for a bra. What does the butt look like? <laughs> I got back rolls. <sighs> I wanna go look at this in the mirror. This will make me really mad if this doesn't look good in other lighting because this is a 2X and this fits tighter than the first one fits. It kind of sucks because I really like this dress. I don't know why it has to be so form fitting. If me, I'm not even a 2X or 3X dress wearer on Fashion Nova clearly, or they're, sorry, I'm not a 2X or a 3X clothing wearer on Fashion Nova as most of that was 2X and a lot of it was big on me. This is a 2X dress. What woman is gonna fit in this? That is plus sized. No one. Wait. It'd be a lot cuter if I had a more flatter stomach and a toned waist. <sighs> My God. I'm sweating. I feel like that um, vampire. I feel like I'm ready to dance the night away. I cannot bend over in this. I just need to like get rid of that. Just get rid of that. Get rid of my back fat. And I'll be good. I'd be good. What it do? Okay, but this. I'm sweating. Well, that was my Fashion Nova haul review. I'm sweating uncontrollably in my little basement apartment. What the fuck are these? What the fuck are those? I don't even know what those are. It's my hair. <laughs> what is I'm having a midlife crisis at the age of 21. Look at my rolls! Somebody's gonna love these one day. They will. They, oh my God, I almost fell over. They will. Yeah, someone will love all of this. I look like levels. I look like I have three sets of tits. This is my Fashion Nova review of my haul. I wanted to return two things probably out of it. 